Hi there, it's Jen and I'm back with another process video. I'm using the April 2015 Scraptastic Darlene kit and I'm using this photo of my grandma on her wedding day. Um, it's just a really pretty photo and the colors of this kit are just soft and pretty and so I thought they would be perfect for scrapbooking this photo. Um, I need you guys to let me know. I have a new microphone today and I'm hoping that will hope help the audio situation that I've been having. So if you wouldn't mind just leaving me a comment if you still can't hear the audio, that would be great. Um, hoping that will be fixed because I definitely don't want that. Um, so I'm just pulling a few things from the Simple Stories I Am die cut pack that came in the kit and just pulling some of the pinks and the golds mostly and then I'm also going to use all three of those little kind of doily medallion wood veneer shapes that are kind of circular on the page as well. So I want to make it really soft and pretty with just hints of pink and gold basically. And like I said this is a photo of my grandma on her wedding day and this page is really all about um, I'm, she died recently. If you've if you've watched some of my past videos, you may have seen uh, me scrapbook some other photos of her. And I, this is kind of a page that I wanted to make, just remembering and being grateful grateful for all of the things that um, that I have because of her, or that I experienced because of her. And so. Um, that's what this layout will be about. So now I am just taking that uh, kind of pearlized looking creamy paper and I'm going to use that as a photo mat as well as some of that uh, chevron paper which is a scraptastic exclusive. It's a really light light pink on one side and the other side has the bright yellow polka dots and then that gorgeous my mind's eye gold foil script paper which I absolutely love. And then I decided that I wanted to use this Webster's Pages kind of, um, it's kind of like a herringbone paper and it looks like it's gold foiled but it's just the way that it's printed. It's uh, got kind of a variegated tone to it and so I'm cutting out the center because I want to use that paper again and I'm going to use that as a mat for my whole layout. I thought it was too plain to have just white uh, because I wanted to keep it minimal. I knew I had a lot to write and so I wanted to make sure I left room for that but I also didn't want the page to look too white so I, I just uh, decided that it needed a border and now I'm just trying to I cut that paper that chevron paper a little too small and so I ended up cutting it in half and spreading it out a little behind the photo so it looks like a larger piece of paper and I was just uh, lining it up on my craft mat there to make sure I got it straight and I'm using these gorgeous thickers that came in the kit and I cannot remember what they're called I'm sorry but they're like a creamy almost a yellowy cream color with a gold uh, line in the middle of each letter and they're just they're beautiful and so what I've decided to do is um, mix white and gold on this layout that I am die cut from the Simple Stories die cut pack. It's a white die cut with gold foil on it and so like I said I'm mixing the white and the cream and the gold and I felt like the matte on the photo that's that creamy color kind of brought them together. So now I'm trying to decide what embellishments I want might want to include. So I always kind of get my the my page started and then I I figure out what my title is going to be and then I just I like to use wax paper because then I can move it around as I'm trying to figure out what I want the rest of my embellishments to be so that's what I'm doing now it's just kind of sitting there and I know that I want it to go above the photo but I can still move it around a little bit if I need to and I'm just going through some products these did not come in the kit that I got in a recent haul and that little glittery butterfly that I pulled out came from the Maggie Holmes sticker sheet um what is her new I think her new is her new line called confetti uh it's from that little sticker sheet and then um just to the right sitting there those are the puffy stickers from that same line and I'm going to use some of those a little bit later and I'm just using my EK success powder tool to take a little bit of the sticky off of this little floral sticker. So 
the I Am collection from Simple Stories, the die cut pack came in the kit. I happened to buy the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and so the tag to the left of the photo that has that flower on it came from the die cut pack and the sticker up at the top um, that has that same floral came from the sticker sheet. So it was nice to kind of be able to have both of them even though I bought one of them and one of them came in the kit. So um, so I'm kind of deciding now that I want to cluster, make three little clusters, one to the left of the photo, one to the right, and then one up above on the top left. And I'm going to use my little wood veneer pieces to kind of anchor my uh, embellishment clusters. And I want to use some butterfly die cuts. And so I'm trying to find another one and I pulled out my punch to try to punch it out of that gold glitter paper and it's not quite working. So here I've slowed down the recording to show you my solution so I um, will let you watch that really quick. Okay, so I wanted to slow down the video for a second and just show you what I'm doing here. I am trying to get another glittery piece onto this layout and I want another butterfly. And so I'm thinking about using this, but I'm also wanting to try um, using my one of my punches. This is an EK Success butterfly punch. And I was trying to punch it out of this American Crafts Duo Tone glitter paper, but it is so thick it won't punch through. So you can see it's not punching through here. And so what I decided to do instead was to just glitter my own piece of, of paper. So what I'm gonna try to do is I have some adhesive cardstock from Die Cuts with a View. This is just a matte stack. And it doesn't really matter what color I use because I'm going to glitter the back side. So I'm just going to punch it out of this pink paper, which I already have some letters die cut into. So I'm just going to punch it out, and it punched so easy out of that paper compared to that glitter paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use this piece of wax paper and take off the backing. And I just have some Martha Stewart yellow gold glitter and I'm just going to shake some on and then I'm going to fold this over onto itself and kind of rub it in. I'm really going to try to burnish that down. And if you have um, like a, an embossing, not embossing, a bone folder or something that would work really well to make sure you get it really pressed in and then I'll just shake it off and now I have this nice glittery butterfly to use so I'm gonna use that and I will just see if wax paper probably isn't the best thing to use because the glitter doesn't, it sticks to it. Let's see, but I don't care. I'm just going to throw it away. So now that I have glitter everywhere, that's one thing I hate about glitter is it gets everywhere, but that's okay. I don't use it very often and it's okay if once in a while I get glitter everywhere. So that is how I am going to fix my need for a butterfly that has glitter on it. Another butterfly that has glitter on it rather. Okay, so now I'm getting started adhering everything down and I'm just putting adhesive on the inner um, edge of that paper that I gutted the middle out of and the outer edge of the white cardstock that I'm going to put on top of it. And I don't end up getting it exactly straight, but I kind of don't care. I'm just going to let that slide. And then I'm sorry right now I'm trying to, uh, I'm watching Netflix or something. Um, so I'm just going to start gluing everything else down and I'm using my American Crafts This to That adhesive 
which I have a ton of. I'm able to get it really cheap at the American Crafts Warehouse sale, so it is my adhesive of choice for that reason. <laughs> but it works great, too. I I'm like it fine. Um, and so I'm just kind of tucking in those kind of those wood medallion pieces to clust like I want them in the clusters but I I want them to sometimes I feel like when when you overlap things and um just vary your clusters a little bit like that then they look more natural or more like they they belong together and so I like to overlap things like that and I just dug in my stash and found some uh, hemp twine to tie the tag. I have always, I always have a need to tie my tags. So I just glued down those letters and now I'm just going to place the rest of my embellishments. Um, those wood veneer pieces are super thin, so they're really easy to adhere with just a little bit of that dot adhesive. And I'm putting, uh, foam squares behind a lot of the little pieces, including some of the butterfly wings. And then that little XOXO that I put down at the bottom, it's a gold foil die cut, is from my Felicity, one of my Felicity Jane kits. And then I also am adding that cream colored arrow that's, I think it's an acrylic arrow that came in the kit this month. And I went ahead and added that other medallion up at the top left with the butterfly on top of it. And then I went ahead and cut out the part where I did my journaling. But I I um, went ahead and like hand wrote, I wrote the journaling beforehand so that I could get an idea for how much space it would fill up. And then I drew some really light lines with a pencil and then just hand wrote my journaling in. And I made it so that it started where that flower cluster, um, the top of the flower cluster is just so it looked like it it belonged there kind of. I knew I wouldn't fill up that whole entire space um, and I knew that below the butterfly that was my other option that I would fill up more than that space and so that was kind of my compromise is to go to the top of that flower there. And so now I'm trying to decide which of these puffy stickers I might want to use. So I have a few different kind of gold tones going on. I have the gold foil, I have the gold glitter, and then this is kind of a soft gold. And the gold glitter that I, that I made myself, that little butterfly I made myself, is a, a little bit of a softer gold than the foil. So the little puffy stickers work well with that. And I'm just using the dots in like in place of enamel dots for that um, with those stickers or for the enamel stickers not enamel I can't talk I'm really sorry <laughs> for those puffy stickers I'm using the circles and they look like enamel dots there we go um, and then I am just going to I'm looking through my washi tape right now. That's that little bit of pink you can see at the bottom. I just have them have it in a little wire bin. And I'm trying to decide. I haven't used washi tape in a while. But um, I love the way that Missy, and I'm going to botch her last name. It's either Widden or Whedon here on YouTube. How she kind of rips her washi tape in half. And it gives it a real natural look. And so I'm doing that with a bit of gold washi tape. And it's, again, that soft gold so it matches those little circles and I put some at the top some and then some uh, right below the scripty paper and I made it look like it ran across the whole uh, page down at the bottom there and then I'm just as a finishing touch adding just a little bit of Heidi Swap gold color shine and that is going to complete the layout um, I love this I love the way that this layout turned out. It's just soft and pretty and the journaling has a lot of meaning to me and so those are my favorite kinds of pages. I hope that you enjoy and please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you again soon with another process video and be sure to check out my channel on every Saturday for a new 6x6 paper pad love video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.